and it has been great to uh, a great opportunity for me to be able to share thoughts, ideas, and collaborate with peers from different academic disciplines uh, or, or, or fields, and also with uh, practitioners on how to better understand the current information environment, the flows of misinformation and disinformation, how to better um, prevent uh, and respond to uh, infodemics, and, and, to and how to measure the, the effects of uh, the exposure of misinformation and disinformation by individuals. There are similarities and dissimilarities between the spreading of a disease and the spreading of information. The most relevant one being uh, that information travels much faster than a biological virus. One of the most interesting things I heard about was the use of personas in the development of targeted communication materials. This really gets to the critical role of identity in this issue. I enjoy participating in the sprints and learning about how others from so many different fields have approached infodemic problems. So we've been working on NLP and machine learning for understanding social issues, um, but being able to learn uh, about the need and social value of this for misinformation in the area of health has been eye-opening for me. Think about not only what information is communicated to different audiences, but how it is translated and then received and the real importance of understanding um, different communities' perceptions of what is valuable. But the thing I valued most about the conference was the ability to cross the divide from research to practice, to learn from experiences that people have had promoting evidence and debunking misinformation in the real world and in very different online and offline environments. It was in topic two when uh, Anis Aslan and uh, Masato Kajimoto provided uh, their um, lessons on information environment. We have used uh, this interactive uh, online mind mapping tool to together create a visual graphic of um, how uh, misinformation can be addressed, where misinformation uh, originates, uh, how can we deal with it, how can we police it, how it can be corrected, and also what role uh, social media plays. It's clear that some practices and methodologies are transferable. It's clear that we can share these methodologies, but it's also clear that we are moving towards looking at ways that we can intervene to protect global populations. So I'm happy to make connections with uh, people from many disciplines, and I think uh, solving a complex problem like misinformation would require a global effort, a coordinated effort. And I think this uh, first World Health Organization was a very good step towards this goal. I think that uh, it's extremely important, especially for these new challenging uh, visions, to have uh, a test like this. Because what happens today is that despite of all the resources that we have, there is not enough diversity in our discussions, and that was absolutely a crucial step forward. Turns out, I'm not just meeting with people who are smart and intelligent. They also have big hearts, and I think that is the most important thing. When we discuss each other, complement each other, embracing each other, uh, I became realized that working in this field, we need diverse uh, perspective, and also we need collaboration more and more. We need a coordinated response to fight misinformation and establish a community of practice which facilitates sharing of best practices and also coordinate our response.